Today's lesson, creating an invisible shadow floor with reflections. You'll need SolidWorks 2011 or greater with PhotoView 360 enabled. In this presentation, you will learn how to take an ordinary part or assembly, in this case a rim, and render it using PhotoView 360. You'll also be adding a visually enhancing floor reflection. However, we will be removing the distracting part of the floor. You'll also add an attractive shadow, all with the benefit of Alpha Channel. This allows your background to show through, and as you can see in this advertisement, it could be a very useful technique. Step 1. Adding your appearances. Begin by opening the part called Rim, which you can download from our website integratedconsultants.com. Click on the rendering tab. You will notice there are no appearances assigned yet. Let's add one. Under Metal, we will choose Chrome Plate. Now here's a trick. If you change your prominent color to white, your rendering will look a lot better. Step 2. Adding your first plane. Select the top plane and zoom in to the edge of the rim where the flat area is. Control select that. Select new plane. Parallel. You notice it's at the top so we're going to flip it. Now our plane is at the bottom where we want it. Step 3. Adding your second plane. The first thing we are going to do is stretch this existing plane so that we can see it better. I'm going to drag the edge of this plane over to the other side of the rim. Next, I'm going to control copy the plane below the existing one and give it a dimension of Point zero one. Step four, modifying the scene. Begin by applying a new scene called Backdrop Lightbox Studio. Go to the Display Manager tab. Notice we don't have a floor assigned yet. Right-click the scene and add Floor Appearance. Select Shadow Floor. Next, you will want to edit your scene. For background, choose Color and make sure it's white. Select Keep Background. Under Environment, browse to a new file. Go into the folder ENV Map and select Lightbox Studio HDR Environment. Next, we will modify the floor by selecting a plane. In this case, Plane 1. Toggle the plane if your model is upside down. Under Advanced, uncheck Auto Size Floor and give the width and height a dimension of 5000 inches. For environmental rotation, type in 270. Next, select Illumination. Background will be 1.5. Rendering Brightness will be 1.5. And, and Scene Reflectivity will be 1. Step 5. Adding the Reflective Floor. Begin by selecting Plane 2 and drawing a circle on the origin. Give it a dimension of 5,000 inches, the same as your scene. Next, select the new sketch you just made and give it a 
Planar Surface. Select the planar surface and assign it an appearance. In this case, we will go to Stone Architectural and give it a Cobblestone for appearance. Modify the appearance and change the mapping to 30 inches. Step 6. Time to render. The sample file has a camera view already set up, so simply click camera view to see it. Double check your photo view 360 settings and adjust as needed. Just be sure your final render is set to maximum. Ready? Render. After rendering is complete, your rendering should look something like this. Select Save Image and be sure to save it as PNG. This will give you your alpha channel. Post-production and experimentation. I'm going to paste the new rendering we made into CorelDRAW. And as you can see, the alpha channel lets the background show through. Be sure and experiment with different floor settings until you achieve the look that you want. I think I like this one the best. Thanks for watching.